Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, man. So on our Marvel journey, we've watched so many awesome movies. We sort of took a break from it because we've had a lot of TV series that we've had to catch up on. But we are back with a movie, baby. Shang-Chi and the Ten Rings. So this sounds like it's going to be really different. A lot of people said that this movie's highly underrated. I'm excited. Let's go. You got anything you want to add, little mama? I didn't want to say we do know who the Ten Rings are from Iron Man 1. They were holding Tony Stark captive. And also, we found out, I think, in Iron Man 2 or 3, and we watched the Marvel one-shot with All Hail the King. That's right. That's right. Go check that out. If you haven't, the one shot strong Patreon, and I'm ready to see this thing come full circle. Kind of like a ring, so. <laughs> yeah, go. we're familiar with this sign, you guys. The Mandarin. Okay, thousands of years. Costumes are sick. I know, his bangles are sick. What do they say? Loose or something? You know what I'm saying? He's sick. And he's immortal. If he knows those guys aren't even fighting him, they're just chilling. He's just whooping them. Dang. Nuts. He created a Shihuan Jin Tuan. They are fighting in the middle. They are fighting the Shihuan Jin Tuan. Wow. They are fighting the Shihuan Jin Tuan. And they blame the Winter Soldier for a lot of that stuff. But he... Ain't that like some Chinese mythological creatures? Looks like it. One hidden village in there. The Lord of the Rings is coming. Let's go. We're going to go. So he's looking for a hidden place. Yeah, to low. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. It's moving. Play some Doctor Strange action. Right. That doesn't seem like a place you should go. His homies didn't make it, bro. Oh, man. This is shot insane for the record, you guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. I'm already loving it. Dang. Whoa. She looks awesome. Oh, she scoffed at it. She said, is that all? <laughs> She'd be baller at Ultimate Frisbee. Mm hmm In that little game at the park where you gotta throw it in that little net. Disc golf? Yeah, disc golf. He's like, it's so beautiful. It can't harm me. Yeah, that's that martial arts taught by the gods right there that we were talking about. <laughs> Bro, this is <darn> tough. <laughs> Boy, what? It's like they're dancing or something. Show it to him, like, if you can beat me up, I'll give you a little kiss. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Gosh. He didn't even care he got kicked. Yeah, she held up on that kick, trying not to hurt him. It's kind of like how we met. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it's so funny they're doing all this and not talking. No communication. <laughs> they got married. That's funny. Aww. That's the first time I met your father. Aww. They're fire with it. Man, she can't do it no more. Aww. I got a feeling Loki might try to steal that. I know. Oh, it's him. San Francisco. <laughs> so we moved to America. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to go shopping. Because <laughs> <laughs> you went to San Francisco. Hello, sir. Welcome to the. <laughs> <laughs> He's a valet driver. <laughs> I'm driving. No, you're not. Katie. Hey, Who the hell hey, is Katie? Oh, come on. Nothing's going to happen in this car. 
I'm the Asian Jeff Gordon. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Most career wins in all of NASCAR history. We've been friends for 10 years, okay? You know I'm not an idiot. Please, get in. I'm who? I'm Jeff Gordon? Thanks for saying that. Thank you. <laughs> don't say that on here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Are you really? I'm pretty sure, That's yeah. Nutty. I knew Kitty was trouble the first day we met in high school. I was gonna pick Don a lot for all the reasons we all get picked on a lot. I was on my way to lunch one day when this guy that was like twice my size yells at me from down the hall. What's up, Gangnam Style? So I yelled back, <laughs> I'm not Korean, idiot. And I turn the corner and I see this guy drop his backpack. <laughs> he's getting all in his face. And right before he's about to throw the first punch, Katie comes out of nowhere, steps right between us and starts screaming the lyrics to Hotel California. What? It's the art of confusion. Works great on stupid people. And that's how we met. Now, before she was a lawyer, your girl was pretty wild. Oh, what happened? <laughs> Look, we're now living in a world where at any moment half the population can just disappear. Yeah, that's true. Life's too oh, yeah. short and too fragile. Katie, you're a valet driver with an honors degree from Berkeley. And Sean, don't get why you're scared to actually use it for something serious. Wow. You sound like my mom. You also dress like I mean, like she's keeping it real, too. though. Yeah. Where's this from? Being Talbots? Friend. Did you think valet parking is easy? No, it's like the most challenging job ever. You need people skills, driving skills. <laughs> no Canyon Parallel Park. <laughs> well, it's almost midnight. We got the early shift. Be responsible. Go to sleep. Yeah, we can be responsible. We can do that. Or... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. A whole new world. <laughs> <laughs> They're like us. <laughs> We'd be singing like that sometimes. He said, I go to bed and I don't go out. <laughs> well, we try to go to bed. Or we record. Yeah, we, we got that record life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Post blip anxiety. <laughs> Katie, Sean's here. Yeah, mom, be there in a minute. Hey, mom. <laughs> You're supposed to be helping your dad stock the shop. Mama. I can't work on an empty stomach. My legs get crampy. Maybe <laughs> can help them instead of just showing up every day to eat our food. I have to help. No, it's really passive aggressive. Do it. Are you sure that white gong's allowed to take funyuns and cigarettes back to the afterlife? Sean, did my daughter apply to any new jobs this week? She really likes her job. We both do. Mm -hmm. Why Gung didn't move here from Hunan? So Bro, if you got a job that you don't want to like blow up to go to every day, consider it a win sometimes. Mm -hmm. Ain't that bad. Bus. Mm. I'm sorry for my unacceptable job and for staying out late last night trying to enjoy my life. Mm -hmm. but one day I'll make you proud, I promise. I'm proud of you, sis. Parking cars is super hard. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Agreed. You pass your driver's test. Live the dream like me. Come on, John, let's go. It's a lot of my poor. Are they bad drivers because they're Asian? Is that what it is? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I am. Look, look at that girl. She's writing a research paper on a bus. So? That is exactly the daughter my mom wishes came out of her vagina. <laughs> <laughs> she heard. I'm sorry about her. How's it going? It's like, let me get that. Don't mail her. Why so soon? I know what you're talking about, dude. Hey, what? Whoa. Get off of me! <gasps> what is Whoa. wrong with you, asshole? I don't want to hurt you. have the wrong guy. Does he look like he can fight? Come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. What? So he can fight? Yeah, he can. He just didn't want to show her. You okay? Oh, okay. You know, watching movies, we've seen so many things go down in a subway. I know. Like, geez. Yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy, Clay. The Vault. We're live on the bus. I actually did take a little <laughs> bit of martial arts as a youth, so I'm going to try and grade this fight as we're going. <laughs> <laughs> He's so modern with it. If I'd have saw that in real life, I would have thought that was staged. She's like, that's not my friend that I know. <laughs> Uh-oh. No arm. What's my man got on his arm? I know, what are you about to do? You got this, bro! <laughs> <laughs> my bad. Oh. <laughs> that would be uh -oh, so scary. Lines. That would be so scary. <laughs> you took the headphones out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Our research paper. Oh, you got that warranty. You really want to talk about this now? <gasps> oh, shoot. No. Oh, he got Gechi. 
bus driver's down. I'm not gonna it's a, it's a verb Every now. I've tried to drive a bus, I get yelled at. Yeah. Let me get straight. Shut <laughs> Shadow realm. Go, you freak! Being a complete normal human, though, she's doing pretty good. I know. And she's extremely calm, given the fact. The back is about to go. On my signal, make a hard right. Oh. Dang, he punched him out the window? He meant he was going in X Games. <laughs> Everybody to the front now! What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? <laughs> He's just streaming. Oh, there's a signal. That was perfect. <laughs> oh, good timing. Ooh. That was tough. The UFO music. Hold on, everybody! Okay. <gasps> She bought got a haircut. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we make a good team. Yeah, but what's that little necklace? And is gone. He doesn't have it no more. <gasps> you don't have it? Uh-uh. Uh-oh. Maybe he knows. <sighs> you. You Russian bastard. Tell me what the hell's going on. What are you doing? Where are you going? Macau. Macau? Those guys are going after my sister next. I have to get to her first. You have a sister? <laughs> Look, I know this is a I'll explain it when I get back to the Hell no, dude. This is bullshit. I've been by your side for half your life. I thought she I was a sister. I was confused. About, and I never wanted to push. But a guy with a freaking machete for an arm <laughs> just chopped our butts in half, Sean. <laughs> Who the hell are you? His name ain't Sean. It's Shane, right? Shang Chi. This a few months ago. I think it's the address of where she's staying. Those guys back there were sent by my dad. What? They hurt her. I'm sorry, but I have to go. Well, you better take her with you. You might need another driver or something. Fine. You can explain on the plane. There you Ooh. go. No, Katie, you can't. You can explain on the plane, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> he said, forget our jobs. <laughs> the cars can park themselves. Hope they got Teslas. After Aww. my mom died, my dad started my training. That color contrast, though. Oh, she's doing a little training on her own. You see that? Right. Man, don't nick my man up like that. Baby, does that remind you of some SYD? Some Sonya Dawn. All that training. Yep. Man, these the color schemes and stuff, man, they're fire. Life was like before she died. I was willing to do anything he wanted. If he asked me to burn the world down. I would have asked him. Beef or vegetarian? Roll out of the chicken. So I can only offer you beef or vegetarian. Um, beef. Vegetarian would be great. Mm -hmm. Same. <laughs> You'd go vegetarian, Winnie. You... Yeah. Especially on a flight. We're out of the vegetarian, too. How can you be out of vegetarian? <laughs> beef. Because that's all you have, right? Okay. Uh -huh. You'll have the beef. Yes. And, beef. and the beef. <laughs> Did you go through with it? I knew that I couldn't go back to him, so I just ran. That makes sense. Go as far away as you can. California. I'm sorry about your mom. I should also probably mention that my name's not technically Sean. <laughs> what? What is it? It's Shang Chi. Shang Chi. Shang Chi. Shang Chi. She says it like I do. Shang. Shang. You change your name from Shang to Sean. I wonder yeah. how. I wonder how your father found okay, you. I was <laughs> what is your name change logic? You going into hiding, okay. and your name is Michael. You want to change it to Michael? Okay. <laughs> that's, that's not what happened. It's, it's like, hi, my name's Gina. I'm gonna go into hiding. My new name is Gina. What is that oh, building right there? That was crazy. Mmm. Right, that was good. They just be dancing in the streets like that there? Mm -hmm. Good times. Yeah, believe it or not, there's good things to do out there other than where we live where they shut everything down at 10 o'clock. I know. <laughs> they have street food. Jealous. What's <laughs> that? He's like, hell no. He's <laughs> pissed. <laughs> Seems like a nice fella. And this elevator is definitely up to code. There's absolutely no chance of it just falling off the side of the building. Boss <laughs> boy. Oh, I'm going to you 300 lira. Damn, dude. Oh, no. You went viral. I speak ABC. Oh, great. I'm John John. 
Chandan. Can't speak well, English. <laughs> to the Golden Daggers Club. That reminds me of Cyberpunk. Okay, let's get you ready to fight. This is gonna take your brand to a whole new level. I think this what the hell? I like your spike face. They're my cousin. Usually, you got like a viral star like you. Front of the line, bitch. I'm not here to fight a <laughs> We just lost a fighter at the last minute, so you get the next slot. Well, who does he have to fight? Oh, Lava Boy? Nice one, Alan. <laughs> Is he gonna be fighting in one of these? No, 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 no. These are like low level fights. You're low level? You're gonna be fighting up there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, prime time, center stage. Oh my gosh. Is that Wong? What's Wong doing there? He must be broke. He needs to win a couple shillings. <laughs> That's that a meal. Crazy. That reminds me of Thor Ragnarok on the whole. <laughs> I always bet on Asian. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, look, I'm not going up there. Okay. You signed the contract, remember? Your name's on the roster. The he didn't read all that junk. Come on. You got, you got this. Don't be nervous. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. He's a fight Wong? Heck no. <laughs> that was a job. I was just like WWE, they're all friends Radio's in the back. They're just doing it for money. <laughs> oh wait, they practiced. Oh, so it's all like a scam or something. It's Buck Boy! This is like Spider-Man. Yeah. Yeah. What is his name? Bone Claw. Bone Saw Steady. <laughs> and his opponent for tonight, Cow's Home, Fearsome Killer! Ain't that his a sister? sister? What the? Oh, she's she's trying to show him something because she wasn't allowed Man, to train. He's lucky as hell. I wish I'd have been in there. I bought my sister up. <laughs> oh my gosh! Dang, she got that self-taught. Man, they're fighting like one of their CD players about to run out of batteries. Does she know that's her brother? Okay. She sent him the postcard, remember? I know what you're going there to do. I don't know what he's telling you, but mom. Mom's dead. Yeah, we don't know what the assignment was. We just know he had to go on one. A three day assignment. Oh, and he never comes back because he runs because he don't do it. Whatever it was. <sighs> oh, she's got the necklace. Hey, okay, Leon. Hey, night night. <laughs> Dang, so she's like Dana White. Did you bet against me? <laughs> she said no. You know what he said to me when he left? I'll be back in three days. Long three days. three days. I went to our mom's shrine and waited. A week turned to a month and a month turned to six years. I built this place on my own. I didn't need you then and I don't need you now. Why'd you send the postcard? You sent me the postcard. What postcard? Uh oh, you got set up. I didn't send you this. Uh oh, the mom is the only one that knew about that origami. He's flipping the finger. Uh oh, he's back. That's like a Fortnite thing. Come on. <laughs> She's like, heck no. no. Screw you, I'm not doing this. <laughs> the elevator, we can hop in on the next floor. Oh, good. Just head straight to that elevator. Are they going to become an item? Is that the vibe you're getting? I, I think so. Uh uh. I'll buy you some time. Just keep going. Well, this is stressing me out. I know. I don't, I don't like him either. Which I'm really disappointed because I don't get sick. It happens. Keep going, Katie. On a dark desert highway. <laughs> she was right. <laughs> they do freeze up. They don't know how to handle <gasps> oh, oh my god. No. I'm about to have an anxiety oh, attack. I'd be dead. Come on, Sean. Good thing Bamboo is strong as hell. <laughs> I thought she was going to get launched. Hopefully Wu pops up. Or not Wu, but Wong. <gasps> nice, nice snag. No! 
Who the? Oh, that um, was her. It was sis. I'm glad she was around. If I was him, I'm trying to break a window and get inside. <laughs> it's everything about this giving me anxiety. My thing is, I'll be walking by and a body would hit me. What does he want with the pendant? Guess you'll never know. Did America make you soft? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's that guy that trained him up. <gasps> hey, Snaggers! Easy peasy. He's creepy. He gives me the vibes of the dude off Insidious. A little devil thing. Yeah, he's the one that trained him. He's too good. <laughs> what are those called? Shurikens or something like that? Shurikens? Yeah, the little knights. Really? Yeah, like shurikens or something. Let me know in the comments, guys. Please let me know. I just called them blades. Ooh, you me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Dual blades. <gasps> yeah, see? He knows him. Oh, heck no. Nah. Who's that? Pops? Yeah, there's Pops right there. With head, head of mob vibes. I told you, yeah, asshole. They wouldn't be able to kill me if they tried. Good job, my son. Let's go home. Didn't you just try to get him killed? It was just some, you know, tough love. Nah, I think they low key prisoners. Whew. So somber. So he was the one who wanted their pendants. Ah. Seems like Pops wants all the power. That's that training camp, huh? She's just a girl from San Francisco. <laughs> I know. She's like, where are we? We're this like military training camp. My son is home. Take the girls to their room. And keep your hand off of her. <laughs> if my dad won't let me into his empire, I'm gonna build my own. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's where he was punching. Huh? Huh? How did you find me? I always know where my children are. I gave you 10 years to live your life, and where did it get you? Ballet parking, baby. American girl. Her name is Katie. What is your Chinese name? <laughs> <laughs> Ray Wen. A funny story. Some years ago, a terrorist from America needed a boogeyman. He didn't know my actual name. He invented a new one. Do you know the name he chose? The Mandarin. Yeah, the Mandarin. This figure had the name of the chicken dish. <laughs> and it worked. I've had many names throughout my life. But when I met their mother, everything changed. That's so beautiful. <laughs> She showed me a part of myself I didn't know was there. It was like I was seeing the world for the first time. But there's always a but. She gave up everything so we could be together. And so did I. Okay. Mutual sacrifice. <laughs> In the name of love, baby. So adorable. <laughs> <laughs> Dance says revolution. And when she died, I was lost for many years. I was so desperate to connect with your mother. I threw myself back into the studies of her village. But I did find what they are hiding. Interesting. What is it? There's a gate deep in their mountains. Your mother is waiting for us there. Mm -hmm. I, know this is a, I might not have believed it if she didn't tell me herself. To do what? To save her from her people. You save her from After her After we fell in love, your mother wanted us to live in Talo. She would still be with us. We would all be living there together. Talo did this to us. So he's angry against the hidden place, Talo. They locked her behind right. the gate to punish her. Dad, mom's gone. Oh. They think she's you're losing it, pops. Behind the gate and she's not leaving any clues for us. Then what are these? Oh my gosh. No way. So they were eyes the whole time. The offering with the fruit. Katie's going to be tripping. Mm-hmm. What? The passage to Talo is guarded by a moving maze. Oh, yeah. But there's a direct path through the forest. Now I know both. Oh, from the pendants? That's why I needed them so bad. Three days from now, we will rescue my wife from her prison and bring her home. So he believes that, for real. This is why you're here. Maybe he ain't lying. Maybe he's confused. I don't know. And what happens if they don't let you open the gate? We'll burn the village to the ground. You can't just march into our mom's village with this bullshit. I mean, do you have any idea how insane this is? Lock them up. 
Yeah, don't back talk your dad. I have to put some discipline on them kids. <laughs> it's like I feel bad for him, but he does seem a little crazy. Initially, I thought your dad should definitely see a therapist for his delusions, but, but then that dragon vomited a magical water map, and now I have no idea what's real. <laughs> Me too, Katie. What if that's right? About mom being locked behind a gate by her own people? Crazier things have turned out to be true. Especially in this universe, for sure. I don't know what the hell is going on. But if we don't find a way to get to Talo before him, he's going to destroy everything that's left of our family. The hell was that? You're going, you're going, to go, you're going toward that noise? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you in the middle of the night when you wake up. Oh, it does. <laughs> 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 uh, I would so could. Do you know my deed. Question. Bro, it's the Mandalorian. Hello. The Mandarin. Yeah, the Mandarin. <laughs> or Kurt Slattery. Who are you? Trevor. Slattery. Trevor. Not Kurt. Oh. It's been a while. Liverpool? Yeah, that's right. And I wasn't playing a character at all, but what I now recognize to be a rather unflattering portrait of your father. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing for me, I got clean. I rediscovered my passion. But then my dad broke you out. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing weekly gifts for lads ever since. So you're like his jet. It's almost like a Tropic Thunder yeah. or something, yeah. Like, nuncle, nuncle, nuncle. Uh, thank you, <laughs> Trevor. I think we're okay. Right now, we really just need to find a way to... <gasps> what? What the hell? Oh, that was like Mushu. Oh, what is that? What is that? Oh! Who? What's what? That! 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 What is that? Oh! You can see Morris. 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 <laughs> is that one of those mythological creatures? Time I thought it was he said, "You can see Morris." <laughs> oh, he's real. <laughs> he's a bit sensitive about that. Oh. Morris says it can guide you there right now. You can get through the maze without waiting for the path to open, but. Very dangerous. How dangerous? No one's ever made it out alive. <laughs> oh, jeez. Morris is 90% confident he can guide us through safely. 90? Oh, you trust that little creature? 19. <laughs> but even if that chicken pig is right, we're still locked here. That's how I escaped last time. Chicken pig. <laughs> so, Trevor and Morris. I don't know if I trust that little chicken pig, though. <laughs> Think it'd be like Gollum. Right, and lead, lead me to another mythological oh, creature. God. Do you mind? I, I get sick in the back, Carson. <laughs> well, I thought he was driving because I'm an American. That's my car! <laughs> oh, his name was Razor Fist. Was that his name? Yeah, that's what the car says, and the guy goes, That's my car! <laughs> my car doesn't work on me. Man, how are you gonna swing at somebody on a motorcycle and not fall over? He really lean for it. I know, I would be stressing out the balance. The spike strap, spike strap. Scan handprint for gate access. Shun! Access approved. Oh, that was close. Bye. They will come back once I bring her home. Prepare the men for war. So they're about to march in on that city, huh? Mm hmm. First time I witnessed pure artistry. 1968, Planet of the Apes. Uh -huh. We need to see that. I haven't watched it. Cinema next to my mom. After the film, I asked her, How did they get those monkeys to do those things? <laughs> <laughs> so you became an actor because you thought the monkeys were actually <laughs> riding horses? I did. Oh. Yes. <laughs> when in fact, they were simply acting as if they were riding horses. Oh. <laughs> 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 That's how I am with Parent Trap. I can't wrap my head around that. And went for it. It would be interesting though how they made that. Eventually used it to cripple the U.S. I haven't seen it, but I know what it is. Yeah. This is really cool and all, but how long do we have to sit here? Hours, days, friends. What he sees, what he feels of this vast unknown universe is beyond anything our simple brains. Oh, you can go. Oh, go. You can go. He says go. Dang! I thought we'd be waiting. I thought they were gonna have to go on a side quest while we waited. That's the moving forest again, right? Uh huh. You should speed up. What? Why? <gasps> so hey, you go, really go, have go. a window. <laughs> Hard right on three. What? Two. Hard right now. Now, now, now. <laughs> Seriously glad we have Morris. Eats us. What does that mean? He says it eats us. Go left. <laughs> this is like some adventure time action or something. <laughs> Uh-oh. Stay in the pocket. No, you just stop saying stay in the pocket. <laughs> That's insane. Looks like the only way in and out of this place is with a car. You don't horse a buggy, you're screwed. Yeah. <laughs> Better be a fast one. Uh oh. Oh no. Nice. Morris says great job everyone okay <laughs> what we have to do is go through that waterfall and we're pretty much there go through it 
Man, that would be so trippy. I would think that old man put me on some drugs or something. I know. Because Trevor used to be about that life in his Mandarin days. Yeah, good. I will say, though, this is one of the most interesting Marvel movies we've seen in terms of the visuals. Yeah. Very intriguing. Morris says it's normal. They're old mates of his. <laughs> oh, why is Morris so adorable and it doesn't even have a face? Oh, that looks like that Pokemon. Which one? I don't know what it's Oh, that was like Naruto, the non-tail fox. Guys, I've never seen that, but I do know what it is because I live in America and it's marketed everywhere. Oh. That's that thing oh. the guy was looking at. That's a weird horse. <laughs> What's it looking at me for? Oh my gosh. That is so cool looking. What if on another planet, intelligent life took the form of animals? It'd be insane, wouldn't it? Uh-oh. The Tello Village. When we first got together, that's what I thought your parents' house was going to look like. <laughs> you know what my grandma's kind of does, Loki? <laughs> What is that creature back there? Let's say Entei. We're the Katie. Get in that German made car and get the hell out of here. Is that thing <laughs> That was such a different greeting prepared to him. I know. They are not on the same page. He's like, get back in your car and go home now. Look who has found his way home. <laughs> Not a threat. <laughs> we are the keepers of the dark gate, sworn to protect this realm and yours from the evil that's locked behind it. He thinks you're holding our mom there. Maybe something evil Maybe. manipulating him. Thousands of years ago, all of our people lived in peace and prosperity until the attack of the Dweller in Darkness. He came with his army, devouring every soul in their path. They pushed the Dweller and his army into the dark gate and locked it behind them. So that's where that thing is, the dweller. Our people have guarded that gate ever since, empowered by the magic of the great protector and the gift that she gave us. Dragon scale makes very good armor. Your father isn't the first to come here to open the dark gate. Many have tried and failed over the centuries, and they all had one thing in common. They were lured here by the voice of something on the other side a voice that promised them their greatest desires oh i see so it's like a little trick so you think <laughs> soul eaters are talking to our dad they know the 10 rings have the power to break them free the problem with marvel to me is you gotta take a lot of people's word for things oh. you know what i'm saying everyone just got a story that completely makes yeah. you like rethink your whole ideology oh. you know it's like i'm gonna go deliver some dragon arrows <laughs> you gonna deliver some dragon arrows yeah no that's all the useful you know let's go see your mother I, just I wish I could do that. You guys know exactly what you want to do, and you spend your whole life getting really good at it. <laughs> I wish I was more like that. It's like every time I get moderately good at something, I just quit and start something new. <laughs> but I just know my own limits, and Oh, maybe she's a natural. Yeah, maybe so. Because she needs to, like, find her niche. What if she's from there, too? She just don't remember or something. I think her niche is driving. Oh, you think so? Yeah, she's been doing these really hard car fights or whatever. Yeah, they have made it a point to show that she's a good driver. Ain't it? You were everything to her. She knew that one day you would find your way here and asked me to prepare something for your arrival. Who are thinking in a visual, huh? With the dragon scales? Those are tough. You are children of this family, and I welcome you home. Whenever people are too welcoming, though, hmm. So things have changed a little bit, huh? That's what's up. A run class. They're basically Mulan out here. Good shot, Katie. Grandma, you saw that? <laughs> <laughs> she was hype. That's how you are. My mother was the only one who could beat him. Show me how she did it. She used a lot of leaves. Sorry, offside, offside. <laughs> Bro, she could clear the whole forest out, couldn't she? Mm -hmm. That's like the sickest little dojo I've ever seen. I love that. I love the little court that they're at. I mean, we have bamboo basketball court. Oh, it's an open hand, not a punch. Yeah, she did fight like that. Your mother knew who she was, do you? I would think they were just dancing, not fighting. What if I was at, what if we like went out and I got in a fight with some dude and we were just like, <laughs> we were just dancing through the... <laughs> I'm like, are y'all mad or happy? <laughs> 
Bro, she looks like Aang. Y'all know who Aang is? Nope. Avatar of the Last Airbender? I watched like a season of that. She's an Earthbender or something. Stop hiding, nephew. It only prolongs the pain. So Pops isn't bad. He's just a little misled, huh? He's just low-key really in love. Yeah, because he said he ain't about to meet nobody like that again. Sir. Passage will open at dawn. I'll prepare the vehicles. You better make them fast and four wheel drive. Yeah, too bad your vehicle's not there, Razor Fist. That's like Tai Chi, right? She said, Mommy, you gotta go whoop some ass real quick. I know. Take them out, girl. Let's see it. No. I don't know. That kind of looks like easy work for her. I know. Oh, got that toe drag swag, huh? Oh, oh. man. So all y'all had to pull up. She could have taken out the five of them. No. They had to witness that. So that's how she died. Man, that is tough. Aww. Yeah, he feels like if he would have had his dreams on, if he would have been there. That was some past drama that came up. So in his mind, his weakness led to the death of his wife. Yeah. So that's why he's such a hard ass now. Did he just pull up to where they were? Ooh, he ten ringed them. That little boy said, I ain't gonna fall out of line now. No. I'll take the trash out, Dad. That's what I would say. Jeez. That's not right, because he's just a little boy. We found the man responsible for killing your mother. He wants him to do it, huh? That was an assignment. And when you return, we will rebuild the Ten Rings to what it once was. And so that's why he dipped. He didn't want to yeah. fall into that, that circle of revenge, blood, revenge, blood. Dang. He said, all right, Pops, peace. San Francisco it is. When my dad sent me to find the man who killed my mom, I told you I couldn't go through with it. I lied. I lied that I could change my name. Start a new life, pretend like it never happened. Mm. Oh, you carved him up real good, huh? My mom is dead because of him. And now he's coming to destroy her home. Um. She's like, what? What are you saying? An eye for an eye. I'm gonna do what he trained me to do. Uh-oh. He's gonna have to fight Pops. I'm gonna kill him. But he has powers. That was pretty incredible, huh? Yeah. This movie's fun. There's a lot of fun to be had in this one. Yeah, it's just a different world. It's so different from all the ones we've been to so far. He's here. <laughs> Always making them stay there. They're so rude just riding through their habitat like that. I gotta know what that little fox is. That thing's wild. Looks like it's game time, baby. You know, messed up pops. Okay, his costume though. I know sick. they all look so sick. Everybody looks sick. I really like his. Yes. Are you here to help the people holding your own mother captive? You ain't thinking right. I miss my sister as much as you do. This is not the way to honor her memory. <laughs> you call him young man. Oh yeah, because he's lived that immortal mm -hmm. life. Let me pass. We cannot do that. And he said, all right, then. Hell no. Whoa, did you see that lion looking thing? Mm -hmm. I really want to know the name of him. Ooh, you know what Ante is? Uh, Pokemon? Oh, yeah, I know it's that. It's a legendary Pokemon. I know that, but I didn't know his name. Well, he's a legendary Pokemon. It's funny how, you know, the parallels. While everyone's fighting, he's just in there. Whoa. You see those things fluttering? Are you planning to stop me all by yourself? I'm not afraid of you. Yes, you are. I like how he has tennis shoes on, though. He's like a little to him. So he's like, you, you know, Americanized. Yeah. Life afraid, always running. 
Man. You were there when they came for her, and you did nothing. Man, he was a baby, bro. You'd be nasty on the tennis court. Mm -hmm. She was gone, and we needed you. But you chose those damn rings over us. Right. Tell him. Even if you could bring her back. She wouldn't want you. think she'd want anything to do with you. Right. That was that 10 ring punch. Oh, that was that five ring punch. Well, maybe he used both, both sides. It's tricks. Man, he is right, oh man, he's right there. They need to put some guards by that thing. No, it's a bad idea. There's like crazy monsters in there. You put all 10 on one hand. Ooh. Here they go. Like dragon, right? Uh oh. You the gate. What's they called? The dwellers? Right. I think that's what they called them. We don't need your help. We are the mighty ten <laughs> Dang. Wow. Those weapons are useless, just like she said. Backhand, don't matter. Choke them up. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Yep, y'all gotta use some teamwork. We should work together. Yeah, yeah, we should work together. What are they doing? Stealing souls to feed the dweller in darkness. Stealing if it grows souls. Strong enough, it will break right through the gate. That was just the beginning. Everybody get your candy hey, canes. You. <laughs> I have to help my friends. <laughs> Man, she did not sign up for this, but she is definitely family at this point. I like how she's just down for the cause. If he doesn't date her at this point, then what is he doing? She's pretty ride or die, right? A million percent. No, it's a bad idea. I didn't think you would stop. Like when you see all these drags being summoned, like you're just gonna keep doing that. <laughs> what you call them, drags? I meant to say dragons. <laughs> what time is it? Like 4 a.m. <laughs> There's damn drags coming out of there. <laughs> Aim at the sky, win or die. If it flies, it dies. My uncle had a shirt that said that. Right. Yeah, but aren't the arrows just gonna go straight through them? No, but they have the dragon thing, the dragon scales. Oh, on the arrows? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Be a style bender. Bro, this really <laughs> is like Pokemon. Just like when Lugia was falling in the water and that Pokemon movie. You know what I'm talking about, guys. Then he like wakes up and goes crazy. <laughs> You see that oxygen going in his nose? Mm-hmm. Oh, Whoa. he is the dragon. Yum. They had a name for that one. I forgot it though, the great. Man, he's straight riding that thing too. Let's go. Yeah, she's definitely tripping out. Let's go. I love the unity. All we got to do is go get pops off of it over there. I know. He's the only one not listening. That dragon. Man, this movie's fun, dude. I like this a lot. Okay. Yes. Get his ass. Teamwork. What's that thing called in the comments, guys? The big wolf thing? I know I've asked six times, but... You have to stop your father! He's over there raising hell, ain't he? No, no. We should have uh, slept separate the last week. That would be that. too hard for you. She's not back there, Dad. Get out of my way, boy. No. Ooh, the behind the leg slide. That was kind of like the scene with the wife, except with the son. It was a little different. Right, and it was a lot less graceful because the son's not, he's not at full potential yet. Plus, he doesn't want to sleep with his dad. <laughs> that, that do. He said, we're related. I bet mean, that thing would taste magical. Morris? Yeah, it tastes phenomenal, but it probably tastes like, you know. Calm down, mate. I'm not dead. It's just a performance. Now get down here and play along. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Trevor and Morris. He was really sad for him, too. Oh. Yeah, 
Man, this is making the absolute most out of CGI right here. They're killing us. It's really cool looking though. Oh. That looks like more than five, man. Whooped your tail and took your rings. Ooh. Ooh, he about to hit him with the spirit bomb. Let's go. Let's I call that the energy. Frodo bomb. The Frodo bomb? Yep. Oh, because they're <laughs> rings. <laughs> so I ain't like you, Pops. Dad, please. Your family needs you. Well, he's lived forever, though, hadn't he? He's lived for, like, generations, so... Well, yeah, but it, I feel bad for him, man, because he's just confused. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He's not trying to be evil. Oh, snap! The Dweller. The Dweller of Darkness, right? Yeah. What's that thing got on his head? Uh, um... What's, uh, Thor's sister called? Hella. Yeah, that was, like, Hella. You know, with the thing on her head? Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, he's, oh, he's sucking the soul. soul out of him. With the rings on. You think he sees the truth now? That he was fooled? Yeah. Seeing that flashback. <gasps> mm -mm. <gasps> they went Ooh. on Chong. He gave him up. No, no, no. Oh, man, that hurts to see. I know. When he wears them, though, they're orange. Isn't that crazy? The dragon attacked him. You see that? Oh man, she's riding him too. Tough. Oh, got him on the neck. It's headed for the village. That dragon was the thing they made out of origami. Yeah. Kind of looks like the dragon on Dragon Ball Z because it's got like arms and legs and stuff. You don't know anything about Dragon Ball Z, do you? Mm -mm. That dragon doesn't have arms and legs. There's this like, there's a dragon that's like all powerful. And if you collect all the Dragon Balls that are oh, spread out across the universe, you can make a wish. Oh. Man, you better save your girl over there. Wow. Oh no. They're powering them up, powering them up. You see all the souls they're feeding them? They're like, here you go, buddy. He's like, boop, 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 boop. That's how I feel when I drink a Red Bull. Just powered up? Just like this. Yeah. Uh-uh, please don't hurt the dragon. The dragon's soul. Oh my god. Oh, Katie's gonna land the shot. If land he... the shot, Katie. No! Not the trainer. Best thing you can do for him now is not let that dragon eat a soul. Take the shot. It is. Oh my gosh, come on guys. Man, you better give her some rings. Yeah, five and five. Let her borrow five. Let her hold five real quick. Not leaving you again. <gasps> no, it's eating the dragon soul. Oh. That was a shot too. Good shot. Let's go, Katie. Holy shit. <laughs> so if they defeat this thing, they won't have to live in fear anymore? I hope not. Then Guarding they, that gate? Yeah, but then what do they guard after that? I don't know, maybe they should open like a security agency or something. Is there fire? Wow. Got his ass. Yeehaw. He shot the rings in his mouth? Nice. Yeah, too bad Katie ain't got a cell phone. That other video got two million views. I know if that guy was there, the one that was on the sub the subway bus. Right. He can get two billion off this. Man, that's pretty pretty violent. <laughs> he made that look easy too. Y'all better sell that dragon good job. I will. Good job, dragon. So it was a good aunt the whole time, and I was sitting here waiting for her to have her twist. It's so beautiful. A thousand years ago and a thousand years from now, we will always be together. Aww. 
very majestic in that dragon. I know, I would be like, this is normal now. I seriously thought we were gonna die. And I had only learned how to shoot a bow like a day earlier. <laughs> now I'm on a battlefield <laughs> killing all these soul suckers. And I'm hanging out of the Great Protector with my sister at this point, <laughs> trying not to get eaten by the mega soul sucker. Yeah, I was trying to eat her dragon soul. Which would have allowed it to be <laughs> the entire universe. I only had one arrow left, and it was my mom's voice saying, just take the shot, you little mooch. <laughs> 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 and then Sean used the Ten Rings to like do this like crazy Kamehameha fireball. See? Exploded the thing. Well, I said spirit bomb, but whatever. Yeah, we uh, lost some good people that day. We made it. All they hear is, are you guys touching hands? Two weeks ago, you were parking cars for tips, and you want me to believe you're now saving the world from soul-sucking monsters. <laughs> I really meant what I said, and in fact, I actually think this whole thing... Ooh, Dr. Shane? Steven? My point. You guys are obviously... I was probably going to be Wong since we saw him. Don't cheat. <gasps> oh, here he goes. Chang <laughs> Chi. <laughs> she believes now. <laughs> My name is Wong. Uh, yeah, I know, sir. I'm huge. Do you have? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. Good. Oh, he had the Let's rings go. the whole time. He could just show them. Talk about you too. Me too. Oh. Hell yeah, you in the gang now. I know this is like crazy, but I'm gonna text you and we'll do this again. Nice, nice to see you. <laughs> I'll demo you for them. She's, she's so funny. I like her character. I know. She kind of made the movie, to be honest. Aww. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You was cruising with your top. Little oh. Anderson Pop. Man, that was dope. I love that. Let's that see was if there's a, the end screen. That was so good. That was a 12 out of 10 for me. Yeah, it was, it was just fun. That was so much good fun. Time. I loved it. And guys, I'm really, really sick, but I had so much fun watching this movie that hopefully you guys couldn't even tell, even though I feel like death. Because you wanted to give me a little spring cold or whatever. I wonder where his sister went. Are you going to put the end screen on? I don't match any artifacts from our codex. What do you think? Mm, I'm not sure. <laughs> the Hulk. They're not vibranium. Chitauri? Not like any alien I've seen. How long did your dad have them before he gave them to you? Like a thousand years. A thousand years? Yeah. Mm hmm the first time you used the rings, we felt it in Kamatage. They felt it. What is it? A beacon. We're sending a message. A message to where? I'm so sorry. I have to deal with this. You can get my number from Bruce. She's always leaving. <coughs> oh, she's all over the universe. I, I, I don't have her number. She, <laughs> she, she does this a lot. Guys, stay safe. Welcome to the circus. Broken arm, Bruce. I know this is a lot to take in, but you're going to have to start getting used to that. I mean, after what they've seen. Oil, the trajectory of your lives will be like nothing you've ever experienced before. Oh, the multiverse. There's no going back. You both have a long journey ahead of you. Go home. Get some rest. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we probably should do that or <laughs> such a lovely place such a wonderful at the hotel california anytime of just make sure there's no more you can find it here see my mom is tiffany twisted she's got the mercedes benz the sis they're waiting so she's just hanging out with Knuckle Sandwich now? Mm-hmm. Let's get started. We have a lot of work to do. With the new gym. <laughs> oh, so she's training up the girls. Oh, and the guys. She ain't running them clubs no more than underground fight clubs. <laughs> oh, well, they got satellite systems and everything now. So they're in the, they're in the know. The 10 rings will return. Well, let's go. Bang, people. So that was... That was pretty awesome, man. I really liked that movie. That movie was different. It was fun. The CGI in it was really well. Like with CGI, baby, you either gotta like not have it or go all the way with it. And they was definitely let's go all the way. I had a lot of fun watching it, baby. What do you think? I just had a good time. It was I love the family ties in that one. I love how they went to Talo and they just like found themselves there. It was Basically. incredible. And Katie found herself. It, it was a beautiful story. It's funny because the Ten Rings, like the origins, all that. So much of that was mixed up, man. We can thank the Mandarin for that. And it's just funny to see it all come full circle and to figure out the true story behind it. And I really think it's interesting because with this movie, it's just fun because in real life, there's like really ancient like Chinese culture and stuff. And it's so much older than like so many cultures on Earth and stuff. And I really enjoyed that in this movie too. So I really enjoyed it. I mean, shoot, I liked it. It was a it. unique element to the I liked it to as much Marvel. as anything we've yeah. seen so far, for sure. That was fun. I just thought that like a lot of times when you're watching movies, like the fight scenes and stuff can get really old because they get really repetitive, mm -hmm. especially 
after so many movies, you know, there's really, it was just the way they were like turning the camera around. And I don't know, man, it was just a lot. I, I like how they use like it, slow-mo mov- movements to yeah. emphasize just like the drama. It was incredible. I I love that. Right. I'm having trouble talking because every time I top my nose, I'm, it just reminds me how stopped up my nose is. But really like it. I don't really know where we're going to go from here. I mean, mm-hmm. we basically just have new characters. So we have some new origins and I really love the new characters. I thought that girl was so funny in there. Katie, Katie yes. I love her character. Yes. So she was definitely my favorite character in the movie. I thought her comedy was on time. Like I thought the timing of it was really funny. And like the thing about comedy is sometimes there's a fine line, right? Like she was just so subtle with it that it was mm. just the perfect amount. And I, I really like that. Isn't she actually a comedian, that girl? Oh, I have no I idea. Think, I, I want to say she is. I'm not. I think I've seen somewhere in passing her being a comedian. Well, one thing I can that. honestly say, I don't really think comedians are like. So the thing is, comedians are really funny when they're on stage being comedians. But mm-hmm. when comedians are just talking, like if a comedian is on a talk show, I really don't find them that funny. I, I kind of think that they try too hard to be funny sometimes. But if she's a comedian, she did a good job not trying to do too much. If right. that makes sense, she well, didn't she actually try to steal. acted her butt off in it because when she was with Sean, they actually had like a good relationship that actually made me real, feel really heartfelt. Right, I'm really rooting for their romantic yes. relationship to evolve. And only, she seems like the the Hawkeye version in there. <laughs> only because there's really nothing wrong with like being friends first, right? Like I know it's always love at first sight, full of all this and that, but there's really nothing wrong with just being good old fashioned friends first. So. I really think that that's really cute. I, I want to see that evolve a little bit more. Uh, Marvel needs some romantic relationships, especially some cute ones to root for. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and, you know, there's definitely some, but, you know, we, we could always use more. So I really like that part. I really thought the saddest part was the dad dying in the end. I think right. in the, his last moments, he realized that his son was right. He realized he was wrong. And in that final moment of his life, he chose humility. And he essentially apologized to his son by giving him the rings and he basically told him i'm very proud of the man you are you're right i was wrong and i just thought it was really nice to see him admit that and i thought that scene was really emotional and it was just really it was just really well put together mm-hmm. like for real like, such a good movie really enjoyed it really i enjoyed feel it. like there's a parallel i'm noticing in these last couple of marvel movies that are kind of showing the old generation getting put in the back burner kind of this one was shown through the parents both of them are gone. Now it's the son and daughter who now have to live on the legacy of their family. Yeah. And it's I've noticed that throughout Marvel, except for at the end when we happen to see Wong, Bruce, and Carol, who are all, you know, OGs. So right. it was good to see them too. And it's good to know that we're still keeping some of the same characters, but we're also introducing these really good ones that are new. And I like them. Yeah, I do too. So far. And we uh, so we have Yelena, which is the Black Widow sister. Mm-hmm. We have we have well we've had Wong, but we have Katie, we have Shang, we have is it I can't pronounce it, XI Jai. Is it Jai? XI Jai, yeah. The sister. Was, yeah. So we have all three of them, and then I guess we have the ten rings we can also resort to in our right. multiversal war that is and now coming. Well, it's fun because in the Infinity Saga and all that, it was all about like the stone. Yeah. Right. And they were the ultimate symbols of power and then we move on to loki and we see that one man's rings are another man's paperweight right right and so that really was the first time i really put it into perspective how you know like back you guys know what i'm saying back then it was all about infinity rings and thanos so it's really interesting to see how these rings are also something that are equally as important and it's also fun to see how they've been here like the whole time right stuff and just all those different elements are making it very interesting in the multiverse i would say yeah, they just sort of nailed the movie. I mean, they could have basically what I'm trying to say is they could have had the same exact script. They could have done everything the same way. But I feel like if they remade this movie 10 times, I don't think it would come out this good. I just feel like it was so good. Thunder Met Lightning in this one. And I just think whenever they got done with this and watched the final product, they were probably just blown away. Yeah, because they obviously took yeah, risks. You know, when this. we do origin stories, we kind of have the feel like we'll see them go through their triumph. We'll see them have the come up. We'll see them have the purpose. This one was just a different feel. Right. It was just a different all in all. And I really loved it. I really I really can't get enough of it. Well, Marvel's such a one. big thing and it's such like a an American thing, right? At the end of the day. So it's really like it's really important. Like if you're gonna do an origin story and introduce new characters, especially with them being like Asian characters, it's really important that they've done a really good job to sell to people that these characters are here, they deserve to be here, you know, they're not just shoved in here. 
And I think that they absolutely just nailed their origin right. story. Right. I think the so. good word for that, for the origin story right there, was refreshing to me. Very refreshing. That was a refreshing story in general right. to me. So absolutely. It was really good to see that. If, if Marvel continues down this pattern where they're just introducing these characters, but like having... How do you put that? How do you put it? They have... How do you put that? I don't know how to put that. What? Like, they're introducing these characters, but they're just absolutely nailing their origins. Like, from the music. Like, the music was, like, interesting. Well, we haven't like, seen too many origin stories. Yeah, like, not right? like... But this one was just real... I mean, this one, to me, stood up to... I don't want to start that can of worms. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, Iron Man's Iron Man at this point is basically a classic. But I just feel like... This one was just a really good origin story. Right. Out of all the origin stories we've seen, I really, really enjoyed this one. Yes. Like, honestly, for real. So, I it's really cool did. to have Shang and his sister and Katie added to... The thing is, I don't know if it's the Avengers. You know, I don't know. Well, what it looks like Wong, obviously, along with Steven. They're, they're the people who are in the know, right? So, mm -hmm. if there's going to be anyone out of our core cast of characters who's going to help guide us through the multiverse saga, other than, like, the Watcher or whatever, then... It's definitely going to be Stephen Strange and yeah. Wong, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I just love the fact, which honestly, guys, we really, really, really love the Doctor Strange movies. Like, mm. To me, that's when Marvel really started to open up and get in his bag, right? And so adding on to that part of Marvel, to me, is just a win. Yeah. So I'm really glad that they chose to go that route with it. But I guess in a sense, since we're in the multiverse, we kind of have to go that route. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I really, really like the Doctor uh, Strange part of Marvel. Really I'm, ju do, so. I'm just excited to see where it goes from here. I know we have Eternals next. After that, I'm not 100% sure. Maybe Spider-Man. I'm not certain. Please let us know what these creatures were in the movies. Yes. That way we can get a little, you know, a little more knowledge about mythological creatures and Chinese culture and stuff. So they I wonder were definitely if Trevor and Morris are going to show up i'm sorry i didn't no you're good I, I was just they probably will i, I was just wondering sure. if those two are going to become part of like the cast of characters well they're definitely that. gonna they did such a good job in the movie i feel like they'll definitely feature them at least mm -hmm. i just feel like a lot of these characters or not characters a lot of these creatures and stuff we saw in the movie i've seen in real life but i don't really know what they're called right. like the chinese dragon is it just called the chinese dragon i know that like in china they celebrate like the year of the dragon right the, i know the in this really movie it was culture. called the great dragon um, not the dweller, but the great dragon, the one that is the iconic dragon that right. we see. So I wonder what it's actually called. Yeah, you're right. I know it's probably going to be a little too simplistic, but if you, if anyone does want to let us know in the comments, like what is the reason that in Chinese culture, the dragon so relevant and stuff like that, uh, totally open to hearing all that type of stuff. I think actually moving forward to Marvel would probably be important to understand that, especially if we're going to like have more of these creatures and stuff like that. So I'd be interested to know that. Right. And I noticed, babe, and I know maybe you said you've seen some, maybe not. But in a lot of the animes, they do all that conjuring with, like, the weather and stuff. You know what I'm saying? They do their arm movements, and they, like, make wind come up and stuff. So, I think there's this idea. There's, like, a chi, you know, the mm. same. I haven't seen, like I said, I've seen, uh, I just know about it, guys, but we're about to go into a big Star Wars thing. I don't want everyone thinking that, like, I'm a Star Wars nerd, because genuinely, I haven't seen Star Wars. I saw, like, very basic amounts just from the culture. But I know in Star Wars, they call it the Force. It's called like the chi. And I think, you know, Nikola Tesla called it like free sustainable energy. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And everyone has a name for it. But it's this idea that there's this universal energy out there that you can tap into if you if you were like. If oh, well, like Dr. Strange did. He tapped into basically. it. Basically. And so they're able to like draw from that from that plane where this unlimited energy is. And they're able to draw from it into the physical form. Oh. So that's why you see a lot of that like anime and stuff. Right. And, you know, and this is 100. I'm being transparent. I just never was into stuff like that. So well, me seeing either. this. I just used to like Dragon Ball Z. Well, yeah, but even I didn't like that. So seeing this is like a whole new thing for me so if i'm like completely i have no idea what that means sorry <laughs> right uh man this was just a fun movie for real if you guys enjoyed it at all if you found yourself having any fun man just please just like comment subscribe all that good stuff helps it really does help a wee little channel like us for sure man we're almost at 40k we could not be more grateful for that you guys are awesome and if you guys want to see us continue to grow so that way we get pushed to the top of that list when new stuff comes out that'd be great man and i just had a lot of fun we'll see you guys on the next one